What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you a review of the Nike Dunk Low Retro from the Gone Fishing Pack in this Chinook Salmon colorway. So this is the second of two pairs of dunks which released as part of Nike's Gone Fishing Pack. I already reviewed the Rainbow Trout colorway on my channel not too long ago, but this is the second pair inspired by the state fish of Oregon, the Chinook Salmon. So these were available at most sneaker boutiques here in Canada including the Closet Inc. So the Closet Inc. is my go-to shop for Nikes and Jordan Retros, and they're independently owned and operated, located right here in Southern Ontario in Canada. So for all my Canadian viewers out there, I'll link their social media, their website, all that good stuff down below, so be sure to check out the Closet Inc. and be sure to tell them that I sent you. So the look of these dunks are inspired by the Chinook Salmon, and these retailed for the exact same price, just like the other colorway, of $110 US dollars or $145 here in Canada. The official colorway for this shoe is Photon Dust, Light Silver, Alabaster, Ocean Bliss, and Black. And without further ado, let's dive into the details and we'll break it down. So starting things off on the toe box, instead of your traditional leather or mesh, we have an unperforated toe box, which is constructed out of ripstop nylon. Surrounding the front toe cap, we have this fuzzy suede, which is done in this gray tone, and the same suede covers the eye stays of the shoe as well. Beneath this on the mid panel, we have more of that same ripstop nylon that we saw on the toe box. And then overlaid on top of this, the swoosh here is constructed out of an iridescent leather and has this fish scale pattern to it, along with this fish hook inspired look on the lateral swoosh. Moving further down on the side wing or flap of the shoe, we have more of that fuzzy suede that we saw earlier on the shoe, and this wraps around the bottom of the heel too. Next to this, we have more ripstop nylon surrounding the top portion of the collar. And then in the middle of the heel, we have this fuzzy long haired blue suede and then the top of the heel is covered in more of that iridescent leather and we have Nike branding embroidered across in this cream tone. For the laces, so these only come with one lace option and they're a flat style lace done in this cream color. Underneath this, the tongue is constructed out of a blue colored ripstop nylon and we have this white tag on the top with a graphic of a fish along with Nike Beaverton 1972 branding. The back of the tongue and the interior of the shoe is lined in a light blue colored mesh and the collar here is lightly padded. And then as far as the insoles go, these come with their typical foam line insole, nothing special here. However, stamped on the heel, once again we have that graphic of that fish with Nike branding here as well. So the upper of the dunk sits atop this solid rubber cup sole, which is painted in this cream color. We have this contrast blue stitching which runs across the top portion of the midsole. And then turning this pair over to the bottom, here we have your typical dunk outsole, which is entirely constructed out of rubber. We have that same circular pivot point on the forefoot, along with the Nike logo found right in the middle. So that breaks down the look and the construction of these dunks. And for those wondering about sizing, my foot measures as a true size 10, slightly on the wider side, and I usually stick true to size for Nike sportswear dunk lows. So that's what I did for this pair, and I felt like these didn't fit as snug as the Rainbow Trout colorway. Maybe it's the materials used, or just the manufacturer's inconsistencies. But long story short, going true to size for this pair fit me perfectly. So whatever size you normally wear for Nike Dunk Lows, I'd stick with that exact same size for this pair and you should be okay. Unless you have a really, really, really wide foot, then you might want to consider going up a half size. Moving on to the comfort, so these feel like any other Dunk. So with that said, it's going to feel pretty firm, flat, and lower to the ground. And there's not too much from a softness or step in comfort perspective. However, for just an everyday casual use shoe, dunks are going to be perfectly fine, just as long as you don't have really high expectations and expect them to be very plush underfoot, then I think you'll find them to be okay. Last but not least, in terms of the overall quality and craftsmanship, so first off, material quality I thought it was definitely above average. I love the variety of the materials used on this shoe, just like the other colorway, and while it wasn't the best material I've seen on a Nike release, for a mass-produced general release Nike Dunk, it was definitely way above, for example, a Panda Dunk, or those typical Nike sportswear dunks that give us very plastic leather. So the materials were definitely a bit elevated, and the build and the craftsmanship on this shoe I thought was pretty flawless as well. The stitch job was good, the panels were cut and placed on the shoe consistently, and aside from some minor glue stains, I thought the shoe was pretty free of flaws. So with all that out of the way now, let me toss these on feet, I'll lace them up and I'll show you guys how these look.
All in all, this is a relatively simple and very clean colorway of the Nike Dunk Low. Yes, it's definitely not as themed compared to the Rainbow Trout colorway. That one really exudes the look of a fish, whereas this one is a bit more subdued. So the pros and cons of that is, I guess con is not as fun and it's not as playful of a colorway, but it definitely makes this the more wearable of the two. I can definitely see myself wearing this colorway a lot more. It just goes with a lot more different outfits and looks. Whereas the Rainbow Trout colorway, I think you have to be a bit more careful with what you're wearing to really pull that off. But honestly, I think there's no right or wrong answer. I think Nike did a really solid job with this pack, giving us two very different but very unique options. Both exude that theme of fishing and the outdoors. So let me know in the comment section down below, what do you guys think of these Nike Dunk Lows in the Chinook Salmon colorway? Between this one and the Rainbow Trout, which of the two do you guys prefer? And for anyone watching, did you also pick up a pair of these? Are you potentially waiting for these to go on sale or this is not really your thing? Leave a comment down below. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, follow my Twitter account at sean.go, and visit my website at seango.ca. Before I end this video, another shout out goes out to The Closet Inc. So for all my Canadian viewers out there, their website, their social media, all that stuff is down below, so check them out. So thanks everyone for watching, and until next time, I'll catch you guys all in my next review.